justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. 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 All right. 57 years ago, in 1963, there was a struggle in Birmingham, Alabama. There was the assassination of Medgar Edwards, the head of the Mississippi NAACP. In the middle, of struggle and murder, they came to Washington to demand that the federal government give them a Civil Rights Act and voting rights. They marched that day in a hot, blistering day like today, saying that as we struggle, we need legislation. And they stayed on that movement until they got the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. They came young and old. They came from the South. Many of them couldn't stop on the road to use a bathroom because it was against the law, but they came anyhow. Many of them couldn't stop and eat in a restaurant. They had to put their sandwiches in a paper bag because no restaurant would serve them because it was against the law. But they came anyhow. Many of them couldn't rest in a motel overnight. But they came anyway because it was against the law for them to stop. Because they came in 63, we were able to come back in 2020, riding whatever we wanted to ride, stay in whatever hotels was available. They opened the door for us, but there's still some doors we have to open and some people we've got to straighten out. 2020, we must deal with police brutality. 2020, we must deal with those that want to rob our right to vote. And even though we are here in the midst of a pandemic, socially distancing, telling y'all to distance, and I keep saying spread out, we want to come to show with our bodies that enough is enough. When I was headed to George Floyd's funeral, I talked with Martin III, and I said, you know, maybe we need to go back to Washington. He said, well, let's talk it out, Reverend Al. As I was giving the eulogy, I announced this march. We didn't know how we were going to do it how we were going to plan it, how many would come, but we did it. And we here. Why are we in Washington? I talked with one of the leading minds of our nation, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, and he told me that, Reverend Al, you got to understand that until there's federal legislation, every state will do what it wants to do. Mm -hmm. We have passed in the House of Representatives the George Floyd Policing and Justice Act. Yeah. Now we need to pass that act in the Senate. We need Mitch McConnell and the U.S. Senate to meet on the George Floyd Policing and Justice Act or we're going to meet you senators at the poll 
in November 3rd, whether we got the mail in, walk in, ride in, crawl in, we want our bill passed. Several weeks ago, John Lewis, an outstanding congressman, made his transition. Last time Martin and I were here, he was with us, John Lewis. He and Reverend Jose Williams and Amelia Boykin were beaten on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, tear gassed, that led to the Selma to Montgomery March that got us the right to vote. And that right lasted till 2000. And 13, when they took and gutted out the middle of that bill, taking away the map. Well, we come to Washington saying, how do you memorialize John Lewis and allow the bill that he stood for us to die? We want the John Lewis Voting Rights Bill for the Congress. Yes.